So in the spirit of wanting the Holy Life podcast to be a real, raw, authentic conversation in motherhood and womanhood in general, I want to have a conversation today, a heart-to-heart about the state of California and like the state itself and the state it's in. Now, um, there, there's... There's a lot at work here in the state of California, and it's basically an attack on the family. And we're seeing that nationwide, but what troubles me is that the state of California has is touting to be the model, the, the, the model for the nation. Um, and this is since Gavin Newsom has been in office, and now, A lot of people don't know this, but Gavin Newsom is the nephew of who was the House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi. So now that there's this new House Speaker, um, there's a lot of hope and it's reignited that hope in me. But what gets me is this deeper agenda that's happening here um, on a larger scale in California now the first thing is like california has always been a progressive state and newsom has taken no jay put that back put that back put it back or we're all done i'm back (laughs) california has always been a progressive state so you know we've always kind of been that model for the rest of the nation but what's troubling is is that california is a state with a lot of transplants like people are coming from around the nation into california um seeking um that progressiveness because you know this is especially in san diego this is kind of a military state like you people are transplanted from all over the nation so i think that's my biggest concern is that you know people come here from the midwest and from the northeast and they're seeking almost asylum from more conservative um values than ever before so it saddens me as a as a believer that these people have walked away from their faith. And now because these people have walked away from their faith, they're not really rooted in who they were created to be. They're pushing their own agenda. They're pushing their own um, values on the rest of the nation. So now you have these uber... Con- uber liberal and uber progressive agendas now being spread out to the rest of the United States. Now, that isn't to say that these liberal values and ideologies like Jesus loves us, right? I just cannot have it shoved in my face as much as it is that it has been lately as of late like ever since the pandemic happened it's like everybody took a huge curve to the left and i'm we're 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 waiting for the pendulum to kind of swing back around it will because people get sick and tired of things being shoved in their face that they they don't want to see so case in point just this week a video was released in the little city that i live here in san diego about a transgender person showering in the YMCA. Now, all of us are gathering together because we're thinking about our daughters, we're thinking about our sisters, our mothers. Like, why not give these people their own safe space and not affirm the crazy happening in their brain? Like, give them time? Yes, it's not that they are the way that they are, that's not the matter of it, but don't try to shove it in my face. Cheese. Cheese. 
So the first order of business is like, okay, we recognize California is like this asylum state for liberal progressive ideologies. So I love people who have the hope that there's this like huge resurgence and revival in California um, and that it can be turned conservative. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've lived here my whole life and the instant Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> became governor, that that wasn't a possibility. And um, uh, I think now as it's almost a duty of ours uh, if you have conservative values and if you're trying to raise a solid family um, to go into the places and spaces that serve us better there there you know it's important to recognize what fight is your fight i feel like since becoming a mother and i'm going to give you the history on that because 6 7 years ago here i go with the politics 6 7 years ago Senator Richard Pan became a little puppet for Big Pharma here in California and pushed through SB 277 and SB 276 that changed the tide of how people sought education for their kids. It straight up took away medical choice and medical freedom in the state of California. It is not a surprise to me that after 20, I think it was 2016 or 2015, when SB 277 and SB 276 became a thing, that they were going to try and push this on the whole rest of the nation. Not a surprise to me, because we, nobody stood up at that time and made a loud enough noise about it. And now look, you gave people a leeway, you gave the government an in, and now look at the catastrophe that is happening across the nation and around the world because now we're in the age of information and there's a lot of information in there. So something else to be aware of is the type of information you're consuming, where that information is coming from, and like dig deeper into that. And, you know, I just have to say that you have to do what's right for your family and what works for you. And not every kid is the same. Not every doctor believes in what you believe. So seek out the places and spaces that um, are going to serve you well. And God sees you. God loves you. God's going to provide for you. Case in point, we're moving to Oregon because, you know, we fought our fight here in California. And, you know, God says um, you will not grow weary in his yoke is easy and his burden is light and so when we kept hitting up against our personal roadblocks time and time and time again and we try to figure it out for ourselves this last bit like a huge f bell went off for us are you okay of like wow california really isn't for us and we've got to do better for ourselves and our kids and we God was like hallelujah God said hallelujah they're finally listening like set yourself free get the freedom that Jesus died on the cross and allotted to us um to 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 bear his cross um to be free and to set us free from all the things that keep us in bondage um so all this to say is here's your permission if you really needed it here's your permission go out into the world for you and your family and do what's right for you guys don't i mean it's good to seek 
godly wisdom and counsel, but take that and apply it to what, look, there's a cross right here. Take it to the cross. Use your wisdom, use your discernment. And if God is telling you to go, then go. Get out of this place. Get out of the toxic state. Um, get out of the toxic places and spaces that are no longer serving you. And it does take bravery. <laughs> it takes courage. You guys, this is hard. This parenting stuff is really hard. And if you don't have the right systems and support in place, you're going to drown. You're, you're going to go crazy. So I just wanted to encourage you seek the places and spaces that are going to be supportive of the life that God is calling you into to set you free and to live um, very closely with him. Um, I just want to say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you for this message and thank you for helping helping the eyes open and the awakening and the, the stirring in people's hearts that I know you're placing in them. Thank you for the courage and the bravery to step out boldly and to help people fight their good fight that you have appointed them to and anointed them to, Lord God. Thank you for um, the arms that are banding together to make a difference in this world. Thank you for helping us lift each other up. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you guys. And please reach out. I want to know what your thoughts are on the state of California. And like, where are you from? And why did you seek California? Um, you know, and the other thing is, is that the devil wants to keep you fat, distracted, and like, not aware of what's going on right there's the veil the covering over our eyes sometimes and it takes something to lift it off and for you to have that aha moment of like ooh, yeah it, it's a it's the devil's tricky so i just wanted to encourage you today to go into those places and spaces that god's leading you into to be um set free in 2020 free love you guys talk to you soon bye